Merry Christmas, everyone. Friends, one of the key scriptures around Christmas that we've often heard, even in this past year, perhaps, is Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin will conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. This is the distinctive that sets Christians apart from other world religions. Muslims believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, that he was the Messiah of Israel. Baha'is believe the same. But what separates Christians is that we believe that Jesus is totally unique. He's not a prophet like any other, or even a manifestation of God like any other. Rather, he is in a very real sense, one of a kind, Emmanuel, God with us. And Christmas is the mystery of mysteries. The one through whom the stars and the galaxies are made is born of a virgin in a stable. The one who always has existed comes into existence. He who is out without beginning begins. John in John chapter 1 14 puts it this way that the word became human and made his home among us. For Christians Jesus isn't just another character in the Bible who happens to show up halfway through the story. You know a better Abraham or a beefed up version of Moses Rather, he's the main character through the whole story. He's known by many different names. He's the same person who walks in the garden with Adam, the same person who came to Abraham in a vision, the same person who wrestled with Jacob by the riverside, the same person who spoke from the burning bush to Moses and then gave him the Torah on Mount Sinai, the same person who travels ahead of Israel during their wilderness wanderings and met with Joshua at the entrance to the promised land. He goes by many names, the angel of the Lord, the messenger of the covenant, the word of God, the name, the glory, the face, the same, the right hand. He's the visible image of the invisible God. Jesus says in John 14 verse 9, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. What he is unique about Christmas is instead of just appearing for a few moments, he in John, John's words became human and made his home among us. The mind behind the universe, the person who holds all things together is born of the Virgin Mary. It's a, a mystery of mysteries. In the song, Mary, did you know? Some of the lyrics are, did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. This is the mystery of mysteries. The baby in the manger is the same one who's holding the stars in their orbits right now. The one who's causing the universe to exist, the one who birthed the stars, is himself birthed. This is too great a mystery to truly understand. The little helpless baby lying in a manger surrounded by donkeys, sheep and cows is at the same time the word of God that's causing those donkeys, sheep and cows, even the manger beneath him, to exist moment by moment. In Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55 we read Mary's song of praise when she meets her cousin Elizabeth and she sings this he has scattered the proud and the haughty ones he's brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble he filled the good the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands when God defeats his enemies friends it looks like a man dying upon a cross the mighty are brought low and the humbled are raised up. The gods who ruled over the nations are disarmed and believers replace them. We will one day rule the nations in the age to come with the Messiah. The immortal one became mortal so that we who are mortal might be made immortal in him. 
this is the very mystery of Christmas. In Hebrews chapter 2, 14 and 15, we read this. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood. The son also became flesh and blood. For only as a human being could he die. And only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. And only in this way could he set free all who lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. The reason he came was to set us free, to be free today. Rejoice, for your liberator has been born this day. So in the words of Charles Wesley, hark the herald angels sing. Late in time, behold him come, an offspring of the virgin's womb, veiled in flesh, the Godhead see, hailed the incarnate deity. He has come today. Have a very happy Christmas.